Hey guys, so um, it has been, oh geez, it's been forever since I put a video up on my channel and I am so sorry for that. I know that there are a lot of guys, a lot of people out there that's probably like, um, where'd you go? So I said that over my spring break I was going to pre-record a video because I was going out of town and then I had a bunch of work the rest of the week. And I did pre-record the video, but it, it didn't come out right at all. Like, um, do you remember the last video I did where the, I had to, like, take out and not show you I did my face because, like, it got all blurry and out of focus? That, that was the whole video. Um, my wings were messed up. They were awful in that one. So I just decided to trash it. And this one is is a smoky eye so that's what I'm gonna just gonna replace it with um yeah I needed to get a video up really bad I really I'm really liking this look so I went to the GEZ concert here in in Reno and it was phenomenal by the way it was whoo he's he's wonderful he is a perfect person um and this is the makeup look I did for said GE's a concert. Let me see if you can, you see that? You see that? Um, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I look pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, wore my blue jeans. It was, it was a good night. It was a really, really good night. Um, so yeah. If you want to see how to get this sunset, um, smoky eye that I have entitled when it's dark out then just stay tuned and keep watching and yes I did title it when it's dark out because that's the name of the tour g -E was on oh my god he's so wonderful <sighs> he's wonderful alrighty so as usual we're gonna prime our eyes with oh we're ordering more money yeah Gonna primer our eyes with that eyeshadow potion from Urban Decay. It's the only primer I own because I refuse to buy anything else. It took me extremely long to do that. And then we're gonna set that primer with our Patty Dubroff Perfect Palette with the color Bare. Making sure to highlight underneath our brows first and working around with the rest of the lid. Zipping through that because it took me 17 years. Alright, so now we're going to take the fluffy side on our naked smoky brush, or like just a regular fluffy brush, and we're going to dip into the color Naked. And we're just going to buff that into our crease. We want a fluffy brush because we want our crease to look kind of sloppy. And now we're going to go into Buck and do the same thing. Just kind of sloppily buff that in. Is. We want it well blended, but at the same time, just like blown out. Okay, now we're going into ColourPop's Porter. I believe that one's Porter. Yes, Porter is the red one. And we're just going to put that all over the lid. <laughs> so I've been listening to G-Eazy through this entire video, so you're just going to see me doing my little white girl raps, because, you know, that I get down. Alright, now we're going back into that perfect palette, and we're going to take the warm brown color. Uh, it's called Oasis, and buff that into our crease. That's going to be our main orangey color. <laughs> so now we're going to take our Milani gel eyeshadow powder in Bella White. Yeah, and that's what we're going to use to highlight our brow bone. And I believe that's my Naked 3 brush. Alright, so we're going to take this CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. Uh, eyeliner in Black Onyx. It's one side is an eyeliner and the other is like one of those little weird smudgy 
uh, white sponge things, but it doesn't work. It makes it like it covers your whole eyelid and eyeliner basically. So instead we're going to use the pencil end of that naked smoky brush and we are just going to buff that up. We want to make sure it's as messy as possible um, just because we we don't want like a super clean line for this look. We want it to look very like blown out and burnt and you know sexy. But at the same time, we don't want like a wide line of eyeliner. So if you get too much, just go ahead and go back over that with Porter to kind of like thin that line down as you see me doing. Because sometimes it buffs too broad. Okay, now we're going to go back into our naked palette and we're going to take the color Creep. And we're just going to work that into the outer V and blend that in, kind of dragging it in our crease. Don't worry if it's a little too dark. We're going to blend it out with our Oasis color again. But definitely make sure it blends in with Porter so it's an easy, an easy transition. And I kind of get away from the camera just so I can look at the mirror and get it blended out better. But you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, just dipping right back into that Oasis color and buffing it out. And making it nice and blended. Then what I'm going to do is with a makeup remover rag and just some water, I'm going underneath and cleaning up any fallout and any smears from the eyeliner you may have. Because sometimes when I close my eyes and smudge out the eyeliner, it goes underneath like my lower lash line. So now I'm going to take my Spash... <laughs> wow, that's really close to the camera. My Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And that's what I'm going to use to prime my face. As soon as I get it out. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four drops. Or five. Five, I guess. We're going to go all out. Go big or go home. And just rub that all over the face. Nice and blend, blend it in. Now I'm going to take my Clinique. What's it called? Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in 0.5 Breeze. And it's a foundation and concealer, so it's got a wand applicator. So I'm just going to... Um, focus on under the eyes just to get, you know, my dark circles, but then I'm going to put it all over the face and yeah, as you can see, it goes on a little thick, so I definitely recommend using a damp beauty blender. I use a spray bottle and I just spray it down and squeeze it out so it's not completely soaking wet, but, you know, damp. And I blend it out and it's actually got really, really good coverage. And I think it, because it's kind of on the thicker side, because it's a foundation and concealer, that having the oil underneath and a damp beauty blender kind of thins it out. So you still get that coverage, but at the same time, it's not like cakey and thick. So now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in Fair. And we're not going to do a concealer contour today. So I'm just going to go underneath my eyes to highlight and... The bridge of my nose, gonna get the little fern on my forehead underneath, and just kind of cover up those problem spots. And then just gonna blend that in. And then I go into my uh, Ulta makeup kit and I use the white powder to set it. You can use any white translucent powder. So now I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, water Matte Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And that's what I'm going to use to contour. So I'm just blending that in right underneath my cheekbones. Uh, gives this more of a warm, or not really warm, but like a cool, cooler look. Perfect for when you're like out at night. I This is the look I wore to the concert, so I was looking for more of a nighttime look, even though I wear this during the day. So I'm going to do it on the bridge of my nose and my temples. Oh, excuse me. Random dance break, because it's G-Eazy. You just cannot not dance when it comes to G-Eazy. Why didn't you say so? Seriously, Tilly. Alright, so now I'm going to use my Milani uh, powder blush in 08T Rose. 
Oh, what you waiting for? And just gonna slap that on my cheeks. Get it nice and pink. All right, now I'm gonna be taking my glow kit from Anastasia and we're gonna do sunburst. And for this look, I really pack on the highlighter because whew, you want too easy to see you from the stage, all right? That's just, that's basically what's going on. You want him to see your glow and be like, holy moly, that chick's hot. So yeah, just pack that on the cheeks. Gonna go down the bridge of my nose on my Cupid's bow and underneath my lip. And then we're gonna take the same pencil brush end of my naked smoky brush that we did to smudge out our eyeliner. And that's what we're gonna use to put ColourPop's weenie on our lower lash line. It's like a rose gold, and if you pack on enough, it turns kinda, it looks more pinky than gold. So it's just a nice, cute little dainty pop of color to complete this look. And it kinda got blurry, so I just kinda skipped through all of this, because I guess I don't know how to use a camera. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack that on my lower lash line. And then we're gonna take that same color Bella White that we use to highlight our brow bone and that's gonna go in our inner corner. And it's kinda, it kinda dies out. It's kind of a lighter color. Um, so I definitely packed that on as well just so it could last throughout the night. And we're gonna use that same eyeliner that we used on our uh, lash line to line our waterline and our tight line. And then I set that with my Perfect palette again, um, the Raven, the darker shade, and then I go back in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast or Lash Bloom mascara in black. I'm sure you could wear falsies with this look, but I wear glasses, so falsies don't work for me. So now we're going to use for our lips, we're going to start it and line it with ColourPop's I Heart This. It's like a really vibrant pinky red. It shows up a lot more pink on the camera than it is in person, but this look, the, their lips are like a deep red. They are red, even though they look pink on camera. I promise you they're red. So yeah, we're just gonna line those lips and then we're gonna fill them in. And then we're gonna go in with our ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, as soon as I stop dancing, pay attention, um, in Bad Habit. And just kind of go over that and it looks extremely pink but like I said I swear it's red yep dance break for G-Eazy gotta get down to the melee gotta get down to the man that's my boy we're just gonna set that with our Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray because we want this to last all night so G-Eazy can just be thankful that he has some sexy fans and just fan that down Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Make it clap, we got cash on the menu.